Hello, it's Oluwashio Ajibade here. I will come into another session of tutorial right here on my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, I would like to smash the subscribe button and hit the like, the thumbs up button and also click on share. Thank you for constantly sharing. Thank you. Since my last videos when I asked, I can see that we've been doing that. Thank you so much. Okay, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing us how to edit text effects on Photopy. That's PSD text effects on Photopy. First things first, you have to get your text effects from any site. Probably let's use Freebie. So you just come to a uh, search. Um, I don't. Let me just try this word church text effects I've not used it before yes D. okay no this is not the best word to use let's just put text effects or rather you can just use golden text okay yeah something like this you can just search for anything then go to free pick Make sure to sign up. So you can see that you have countless of text effects here. You can just explore and use. So I'm just going to get one from my gallery and just make use of that. Yeah, so I'm just going to tap on file. So first things for since you are going to be opening a file, just tap on open. So you locate the folder. Where your text effect is i think i have it in my downloads yeah okay let me just be fast with this okay so see the text effects here yeah. this is most of them um i could let me just use this Okay, I'll try and make the text effect available so that you can download and use on your designs. So once um, you load the text effect, you just press loading. It keeps loading. Okay, so we have this here. So probably you want to do a design and probably love fists. Yeah, probably you can use this to create a design let's just see um so what you are going to do is just to come here double tap now look at where i tap this is called the layers panel you tap on this layer tap on this icon here and most of us just tap on this so you tap on this layers panel here so this that's your layers panel so so you just okay sorry just tap on the layers panel you can see this top here you can see this top here uh, where you see click to change text now see this um dot that um box over here just tap on it this box over here so you just tap on it double tap on it so it gives you sorry um okay it gives you the top on this box it gives you the leverage to edit the text you can see the it showed you the name of the font so it, it says um pop in that name on the font so you can see so what um you are going to do is just come here and type your text you can double tap it just double tap it so that you can edit your text probably want to use love right Mm, let's use all caps let's see how it's going to look so just pull off and just and you're good sorry and since they tap on this this is your move tool so it does so that you can move it to the center you get so once that is done mm, you just tap on this file here and put and, and tap save smart objects so once smart object is updated 
you can now tap on this your first layer panel your first uh, sorry not layer panel your first document panel this one here sorry the second one this one so that you can access your what you needed so once you tap on it it will load just wait for it so make sure your phone is around 3 gig with minimum apps and 4 gig and above so i can use this okay so you can see it's um uh, it has given us what we want so i'm going to try and use this on the design this maybe in my next tutorial i'm going to use this so once you are done just tap on so it's advisable to remove the background so that you can edit it properly come here remove those you can see the background so this is everything that has to do with the background is the folder for background so you can just hide it tap on this eye icon here uh, so you can hide it so it's not visible tap on your layer panel pack and you're good so okay so let's tap on let's tap on it once so that it goes then tap back on your layer panel okay so it remains one more you have to remove the confetti yeah i did you go back let's see okay still having some sense text and lines where is it uh so this i'm going to remove this and hide this also okay let's see yeah we've gotten what we wanted i would have loved us to remove the shadow so that we can just add our own shadow probably in, in pixel um, you get i think it's better you know what we're going to probably put maybe the one with shadow and the one without shadow so i'm just going to hide um you can tap on this effect to see the effects to that was used here but if you don't know how to work on it don't bother yeah so let's remove one drop shadow mm. let me see how it looks now <sighs> okay that affected the whole stuff so what i'm going to do is just um what's it called save the one with shadow and the one without shadow so just come to find export as so export as png tap on png then you can just scale it down using your tapping your two finger on the screen then tap on save you can decide to edit the name here hype to text effects tap on save um, so it's advisable to use quality of 100 don't worry showing back down here because you know, okay so um let's go back to the layer and save it without the shadow and come back to fine come to export as png then increase the quality to 100 yeah uh, save and voila when you get to your um app you can edit it so there are some text effect that has multiple layers just make sure to remove the background and work on it that's all so that's just the way it works don't tweak remove the background if the shadow is not needed you can remove it also 
you get. So let's quickly go to snap uh, to pixel to check how it is without background without okay. So we are here in pixel Let's just import the two was the one with shadow and one without shadow. Just crop it a bit. So you remember I thought in my previous tutorial that it's advisable to put shadow in your text effect so that it looks realistic. So let's just change the color to a suitable color. Just pick colors from and use the lighter part of this color and make this dark. And let's change the light effect. Well, we'll continue this design tutorial. Maybe the next video tutorial. Yeah, so let's do this. So love. So this is one with shadow. I think this looks more realistic. And the one without shadow. You can see it looks like it's floating. Let's see how we can add shadow. Yeah, so you can add your shadow here. Yeah? Yeah, I think this is preferable. Yeah, yeah. So just turn off your own the shadow from text and from pixel up so that you can add yours. You know, we're going to do a tutorial properly on a design. I love using this um, stuff here. Yeah. So see you in my next video tutorial. Make sure to subscribe and share. Bye for now.